Talib Kweli. Oh, that's right. When did this video happen? He, they, him and fucking e, Ebro. What the fuck? What the hell is this shit? <laughs> Actually, yeah, I went to go look it up, and it, it apparently, um, it was last year. This was last April or something like that. I want to okay. say. Um, this is like right after my whole Starbucks thing. You know what I mean? So he was okay. fresh on the hunt for me, I guess. Um, Tyler Kweli was talking trash about the Hoteps and me on the Ebro and. Rosenberg was chiming in with his little sorry ass. And um Ebro made some comments. He's like, Oh, you 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 need something for relevance. Da, 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 da. Did you bring this old stuff up? I'm like, yo, your show is so sorry. I didn't even know this video existed. <laughs> <laughs> if if your show was dope, I would have noticed. You know what I mean? Like you know, he should have at least added us. So it give his show a bump. He's so damn dumb, man. <laughs> what is wrong with these nogs, man? You could even add me, Ebro. You follow me. <laughs> How do you follow somebody and slander on a video and not even add them? Don't make me show the internet's IDMs right now. <laughs> <laughs> God. Like, 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 you, like, you know me, bro. Like, we sat in meetings before. You know what I mean? That's some foul stuff, man. I mean, <laughs> that's foul, man. It's that's and you know, and and Talib talk about they get their sources from. Like, what did he say? White supremacist sources? Like, man, come on, come the hell on, man. White supremacist. Like, white supremacist sources. That's what he said. He said a little nut shit like that, man. What source is not white? <laughs> Like who the fuck we supposed to get our news from? BET? (laughs) 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 Like I don't know what's wrong with him. He's so (laughs) white supremacist sources. No, this is common sense. Black Lives Matter is fake. It was a fraud. It's a front. (laughs) Like how many times do they have to be exposed? The leaders were exposed by members. Sean King was exposed by his members. Like how many times do people have to be exposed over and over again before y'all get it? And see the like thing we is, don't even have to we don't even have to bring up Soros. Right. We can just take their actions. You know, we don't, don't all right, if that Soros thing is a, is a white supremacy, right wing thing story, plant. All right, fine. Put it on the shelf. We can still take down Black Lives Matter just by looking on the website and look at what they do in the streets. Word. You look at the website, they <laughs> omitted men from the entire thing. It's just like, <laughs> no, this isn't Black Lives Matter. This is women and LGBT lives matter. We're not stupid, right? So here's what happened with the Ty Lip situation. I just want to clear the air real quick on that meeting. He invited me over to his crib. I went over there and we got mad high. He had mad weed. He, <laughs> he left He left that part out. So we were sitting there smoking blunts like niggas do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> play some music, having a good time. You know, I'm meeting one of my idols. You know, I grew up listening to Ty Lib. I'm like, oh, this is dope. So he basically how it ended off he basically told me look lay off of black lives matter you know what i mean i'm you going he's this is what he said to me he said stick close to me you going to rival be, with me you going to be my guy i'm going to set you up this is what he said he said i'm going to have you i'm going to have you out here you going to be the man watch watch how we do this so i'm like all right no doubt you know what i'm saying that sounds good like i'm your guy that's different from saying i got to be black lives matter you know what i'm saying right he said two months went by or something like that before I flipped on him. I don't know how long it went by, but let's say it was two months. Two months have went by. I saw Black Lives do some funky monkey shit. Now, I didn't get no Grammy during them two months. <laughs> right. I ain't see no Soros checks. <laughs> I didn't get so much as an interview. You know, I didn't get a 16 or nothing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. 
<laughs> Two months have transpired. I saw Black Lives Matter do some. And, and, and I, now, now, let me be clear on this part, because I don't know if that part is true. It could have been Sean King. It could have been DeRay. You know, I was firing on anybody who was fraud, right? Right. So I was probably firing on somebody. So let's assume it was Black Lives Matter, but I don't want to say it was. Let's assume it was. He wants me to be silent. He wants he wants me to be silent and not tell my he in that meeting. He basically admitted that he knew that Black Lives Matter was some fuckery. Now that he won't tell you, but he was like, I know, I know, but you know what well, he was based. His, his pitch was solidarity. Cause we black. Right. But you know, but the thing, that's the thing right now, you know, cause we all black people and we got to have solidarity and, and you know, you, you, you high, you know what I mean? Talking to Talib. So this should be making sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, but then you get home and you start thinking about what just happened and you like, now nah, that don't make sense. To him. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> no, we shouldn't follow behind Black Lives Matter if Black Lives Matter is a psyop controlled by, you know what I mean? If it's controlled opposition, we shouldn't strengthen it. We should go another route. And he wanted me to stay humble. So, so because, and I didn't even tag him. So because I guess I broke our promise or our bond or whatever that was, he been on an attack against me ever since, you know, calling me a white supremacist or whatever. There you have it, folks. The true story between Hotep Jesus and Talib Kwade right here live on Hotep's Been Told You, episode 34. This is the truth is now out. <laughs> That's what happened, you know? And anytime he's ready to, like, talk to me in a public platform, live, online, wherever... However, I'm ready, but you don't got to go on Hot 97 and bash my name and tear down my brand like <laughs> Assassinate your character. <laughs> yeah, at least let me defend myself. Yeah.